So this activity is called germ scatter and we're going to show you how soap works to keep all the germs away and why it's so important that we wash our hands using soap. So our germs today are black is black pepper because it'll show up really nice. Um, and how we're going to start is we're going to put some water in our little pie dish. And then we'll put the germs, the black pepper, on top of them. They sit on top of the water. You see all those germs? And they just kind of sit there and they float around. But then when you wash your hands with soap, so we're going to drop a little tiny piece of soap in the middle and watch what happens to the pepper. It runs away, it's scared of the soap. And that's how you keep your hands clean. Look at all the germs that are now away from where our soap was used. So now we're going to do an experiment called exploding milk. Uh, we're actually using cream. It has to be a higher fat content cream and not just milk because the reaction occurs with the fat content. So put your cream in the bottom of your dish and you add some food coloring. We're using the primary colors today. Yellow, blue, and red. And then you just need a little bit of dish soap. So we have some in the bottom of the container already. And you dip in a stick or toothpick, whatever you have, and put it in. See all the colors blending together. You can see green is there. You can see where the red and blue have mixed and made purple. As it finishes swirling, you can re-dip again and put it in another area where there's lots of food coloring. And try this at home. So our next fun experiment with soap and bubbles is this bar of ivory soap. Um, you to put it in your a dish and then you put it in the microwave for, well, this was a little bit of an older bar of soap, so it didn't work quite as well. So now we're gonna try with a new bar of ivory soap. So this is the new bar of ivory soap and you can see it's a little bit better. It's actually white and you can see all the little bumps around the edges where all those air bubbles are. So we're gonna try this one in the microwave. Anything happening? It's kind of hard to see in there, isn't it? It's getting a little taller. I can smell it. Ooh, I can see it coming over the top of the dish. We're at 30 seconds now, and you can see it's inflating a lot more than the old bar. So, mm -hmm. but it's coming right over the top. When we take it out, you have to be very careful because the pan is going to be hot. Because mommies and daddies do this. Oh, look at that. That's so super cool. We'll play with it once we bring it out. It's going to cool down just a little. So there's still some of the soap bar there, so we could have let it go on longer, but we didn't want it to overflow. So I'm going to stick my finger in it. Can you hear it? Fluffy. It's just very soft. And if you were here, you could smell the ivory soap. And then you could play with it, or we're going to do a special experiment with it that we're going to show you next. It's pretty cool. 
Now we're going to take the ivory soap that we grew in the microwave and we're going to put it in the bottom of our bowl and we're going to make what's called clean mud. You can also do this with soap flakes, um, ivory snow soap, soap flakes if you can find some. It works as well too. We're going to put it all on the bottom. You can also grate the soap with a cheese grater. Yes. I would use one especially just for soap. And then we're going to tear up lots and lots of toilet paper. It's not such a hot commodity anymore, so you should be able to find some. And we're going to tear up lots and lots and lots. So we'll be back when we're done tearing it up and putting it in the bowl. Okay, so we filled up our uh, bowl with the toilet paper. And you could also try this maybe with strips of newspaper, it would make like a paper mache type kind of thing. Um, so now we're going to add some water. Squish it all together. The soap. Oh, do you hear that? Squishy, squishy. We need to add some more toilet paper. That might have been too much water. We'll add a bit more. But the pieces that are there are going to be making dough with them. There's a ball. I think cool, cool thoughts for. Summertime, we'll build a little snowman. We need to add some more toilet paper to this so that it's lots of fun. And the bonus to this is you will be very clean when we're supposed to be working so hard on washing our hands all the time to keep viruses away. So I'm going to add a little bit more toilet paper and we'll come back and see what it looks like. So we added some more toilet paper to make it more of a, a paste. And you can see it smells really nice. Um, you can see the bubbles and you can create with it. Look at the bubbles I'm making. And you can even, with it, just you playing with it or you and your kids, you can put it in the fridge to keep and play with the next day. It'll probably have a whole different texture and feel to it after it's been in the refrigerator. So much fun and everybody's clean. Fun. Okay, so today we're going to do a couple different versions of bubble baking. Um, so we're going to first mix our bubbles. We have three containers here. Let's add some water to the cup. Some dish soap in each one. And that's quite a bit because we want it to bubble up. I'm going to use my stop straw to give that a little stir and then I'll add the color. Let's add some pink. You could use food coloring as well, but the liquid paint is a little more washable. Kind of getting purple because of our blue soap. <laughs> See what color we get? We mix our yellow and our blue. Any guesses? Mm, we have a lime green today. You can think of different things that try. Or a lime popsicle. And the purpose blue. Oh. <laughs> Missed on that one. That's okay. Okay, so for this, you take your color, your container, and you put it right on top of your paper. And you're just going to blow some bubbles with it. not really popping. <laughs> See if I can cut them, kind of cut them off. There's 
strong bubbles. All right, let's try another color. You can see that color is on there a little bit. Again, you might get stronger colors with your ratio of paint, water, soap. As you can see, I didn't really measure. I'm just <laughs> trying it out. Blowing bubbles is also a good way to teach uh, deep breathing activities for um, calming down, taking a deep breath and blowing out. If you really want overflow, or you can also blow to keep control of your breath. And not letting it overflow. Look how pretty, it's like a rainbow. You can see a little bit of the color is going on to the paper from all the bubbles. Reminds me of bubble wrap. I can hear them all popping too. So another way that we can do the bubble painting that Tamara just did was to actually make our pattern on the tray and then use a piece of paper to take what we call a print. So I'm adding a little bit more so because I'm using a different or a, more paint. I'm using a different type of paper than Tamara did. Hers was a um, finger paint paper. So it has a little bit more of a, a coating on it so that paint uh, doesn't sink right in, whereas newsprint is going to soak it right up. So we'll get a very different kind of print. And this is always lots of fun to do, as Tamara said, to practice breathing. And because it's just soap and, and kids paint and water, it's not going to taste very good, but it's still the blue paint is very runny. Um, but it's not really going to hurt them if they do inhale instead of exhale. So I'm going to blow my bubbles right on my tray and then we'll see what happens. What I'm hoping is that my bubbles are actually the color of the paint that we put in there. It's kind of hard to tell on a blue tray. yellow bubbles. Just a few in there. We don't want the bubbles to pop this time because that's what we're going to use to take our print. This is very satisfying and relaxing about doing that too. We're going to take our paper. Well, maybe I'll try to take this edge out so I can just like this. Popping too many of my bubbles. And then we're going to take our paper and we're just going to place it on the top. And you might be able to see it come right through. Look. Don't want it to let it go all the way down. You can almost see the bubble shapes come through the paper on this side, can't you? Some different colors. So I think if we used more paint, Kind of fun. I like seeing the shapes of all the bubbles come through. If you let it sink right in there, it's just going to soak right up. So we're going to try one more way of doing our bubble painting. This time we're going to just use a little bit of water, but mostly paint and soap. So we're going to put our yellow paint in here because it shows up so nicely against our blue tray. And we're going to add some of our liquid soap. You can use whatever kind you want. Big chunk in there. And I'm going to stir it first with my straw to just see how thick it is. It's pretty thick, so we're just going to a little bit of water. So you can see it's it's runny. The soap has helped make it runny. So I'm just going to just a smidge of water just to make it a little bit easier to make bubbles out of. 
And this time, we got a different kind of paper, just because we're experimenting with different things. So this is cover stock. So it's um, a little bit heavier than construction paper. Um, so it will soak up the bubbles in the water, but not quite as quickly as the newsprint. So I'm gonna do the same as I did last time. I'm gonna blow it into my tray and then we'll take the print. But I think our bubbles should be very yellow this time. Much more yellow in the bubbles this time. Let's blow more. Look at that. Just gonna pull it out so we can use our paper. And we're just gonna place our paper on top. See the bubbles on there? Some are sticking, but you can see the prints of all the different bubbles. I'm sure that was slide two. And some of them popped and some of them didn't. What does it remind you of? I kind of think of a honeycomb, mostly because I'm using yellow. But look at that. So I think that's my favorite way of doing it, but you can experiment all different ways to see what kind of designs you would get. Another way to make some super fluffy sudsy bubbles is to use your electric mixer and we're going to make it at home. You could also um, use a whisk to start out, get your child to whisk the water and the soap together and see how they do with that and then switch to your electric mixer. So we're going to put in a quarter cup of water into the bowl and two tablespoons of dish soap. And then we're going to mix it up and watch for the results. It's starting a little bit. So like regular fish water and then you can see it getting thicker as well. And the bubbles are very dense, like a whipped cream. You can see how that would be fun to play in. So you could also scoop that off onto a tray and then keep mixing and get more and more bubbles. Have fun! So we can't do soapy science without doing bubbles. So we have this little bubble. Um, tray that came with the cute little ladybug bubble maker and then we have a bunch of other things that we found around that we'd like to try it so let's just check it out with this one first wow nice big bubbles bubbles are so much fun I made great bubbles now we're going to try with a pipe cleaner shaped a little heart. I wonder if we'll get heart shaped bubbles. Okay. Oh, the wind's blowing the bubbles for me. Oh, but if I blow them, it's great. It's so windy as the wind is doing all the work. Look at that. All the people in the neighborhood are going to see bubbles coming. And then we found this is a lid to one of our glitter bottles, but you might have the lid to ice bottle or something, so let's see if that works. Lots of liquid in there. Let's give us a few 
you. That was a lot of work, though. Have a basket. So you might have a basket like this at home that came with strawberries in it or something like that. So you could try that. We're going to use the end because it fits nice in here. We'll see. Is the wind going to do it? Eh, we got some bubbles. Not nearly as nice. And then what about these guys? I have two different kinds. Fly spotters. This one's just got holes. And this one's got pretty flowers on it. So we'll see what happens. Woo! That made a big old bubble of bubbles. Look at that. Bubbles of bubbles. Whoa, and there it goes. I wonder if the same thing will happen with just the circle one. experimenting with things you find around in your house. See if you can make the wind blow your bubbles.